10 lenses is new uh, because it now provides us a language to capture what's been true for uh, as long as people have started to really talk openly about differences and the fact that we live in a, in a, in, in a multicultural, multiracial uh, society. Uh, and that is that people have different perspectives about what the ideal experience of those differences should be in communities and in organizations. Anything that's, that's, uh, that's creative and for science has to start out with a creative mind. And that was 17 years of Mark Williams uh, actually working with people and, and having them think about these. And then these things began to sort out in his mind, the, these patterns of behavior. That's qualitative research and it's essential because once you've done that, then you can check it out with numbers. So this instrument is much more on a par with the Myers-Briggs, for example, which is the leading instrument used in executive development in the world, uh, where it provides a way of thinking about how one processes a particular aspect of their uh, uh, of their lives, of their experience, and also allows you to contrast that with other possible perspectives or ways of, of, of working. So I think um, that's what the research has done with, with lenses, uh, which is a concept that Mark developed without the research, I mean, you know, with just his clinical observation, right? This comes out of clinical observation of the world. Uh, and it turns out, you know, just like Carl Jung is, you know, that's, that, that's who gave us the concepts that underlie the Myers-Briggs, uh, right? And it was all from clinical observation. It was 20 years later that people came to measure it and create an instrument around it. Yes, there are lenses. I mean, I think we can be pretty clear about that now, that they exist as patterns of behavior that we can rely on here. I think many of those patterns will be reliable wherever there are people. And I think that the lenses will start dialogue wherever, wherever they're used. I think it's going to be groundbreaking in terms of corporations' ability to manage diversity because they'll be able to really profile their workforce and understand that one, not only is every group of, in my case, African American females different, even within a group of African American females, that we may not all see life through merely one lens, that we may be more of A and a little of B and somebody else might be a lot of C and a little of D. Um, so I think that that's going to give corporate America two different legs up that will help um, a lot with regard to their ability to manage diversity. It establishes a very firm principle that not all individuals in a specific racial group or ethnic group or gender group or age group think and believe the same way, that there is a range of attitudes and beliefs. And I believe that goes a long way into building better decisions in the business environment. Those of us who are involved in trying to train managers and supervisors and human resource professionals in the legal aspects of managing diversity are always looking for tools to explain to people the sources of their behavior and the consequences of their behavior. The 10 lenses are a very helpful tools.